ضمن از احترام به مدرسه شما و همه بازماندگان عزیزان خواستم که من دوست اتفاق We are seeing a very different picture of the Iranian Canadian community across Canada. Uh, three things stand out. One is the fact that the Iranian uh, or Canadians with the Iranian descent have well settled across Canada. We have lost um, community members in BC. You have lost community member in the Western Canada, Central West Canada. We've lost members in Ontario, Alberta, Edmonton, uh, Montreal. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some in Ottawa. Uh, in as uh, as these as Halifax. These members um, have varied in age, and also have varied in the contribution that they're making to the Canadian. Uh, that's the, our, our Canadian government. So it, it's so fitting that we acknowledge the how well uh, the community has done over the last 20 years uh, in uh, their contribution uh, to the betterment of Canada as a whole. We've lost uh, scientists, we've lost uh, uh, legal advisors, we've lost uh, professionals, we've lost um, uh, researchers, we've lost uh, professors, we've lost uh, dentists, we've lost uh, doctors, uh, we've lost a lot of, a lot of young individuals who are now one by one being identified as uh, leaders in the field that they were, um, they were either uh, doing research or the field that they were working on. Um, this is a huge impact on us. Uh, this is a big hit for Canada, but uh, uh, unfortunately, it has to take things like this uh, for it to get highlighted. So my ask is, um, uh, let's come together, let's stay strong. Um, at this moment, we have to put politics aside uh, I understand that there is a reason we are in this country, and um, but this is the time for us to unite. This is the time for us to stand uh, in support. And uh, what I also want to highlight is the fact that uh, we've had an overwhelming support from uh, the government of Canada, from the Prime Minister, as well as other non-Persian community members, other, other Canadians. Um, that's number one. Uh, number two, I want to talk to you on behalf of a father who lost his wife and his son of eight-year-old. Um, our office has been in contact with them. Um, I don't wish to uh, share their names. It, it is heart-wrenching. It is heart-wrenching that um, I was on the phone and uh, he was reiterating that they worked very hard over the last eight years to build a life. And it's only after that that they felt everything was in place. For the first time, uh, he um, had his wife and his son go to Iran to basically share the joy of success. Unfortunately, his wife and his son never came back. That's not fair. In, in happiness, in grossness. I do care about what happened. But my ask to you is, please, let's come together. Let's support each other. And may God bless all of them. May God bless Canada, the country that we are so blessed to live and prosper. It is indeed a very sad moment to come and share this with you. As this morning I was um, talking to some Iranian friends, I really share the pain that she feels, the loved ones, the friends that she has, and I'm sure you all have the same feelings. Yes, um, 
It is really sad, especially when I see a lot of them reading for the news, a lot of them are very young, and a lot of them are high professionals. They are very successful, they work very hard in their life. It is sad. At this time, I like to say to the mom and the dad, to the siblings, to the friends, especially for those four families are passed away together. It is hard for us to even realize what has happened. All I can say is at this point, let's join together as a, a family. We are a community. We are here to pull together to support each other. And I will seek for my community to support the people in the Richmond Hill, especially. Especially in Richmond Hill, we have a lot of Iranian families who do our best to really support them. And in fact, this coming Sunday in the evening, starting at 6 o'clock, we, the, uh, the mayor, myself, and MPs, and also in uh, the school boards, the police, we're coming together to do a video in Richmond Hill. Please join and support the families, give them the comfort. We know we're all going to miss them, but all I can say at this point is we're here in it together. We share your loss, we share your pain. It is hard, but we're there for each other. And God bless each family and all of you. My brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum. Today, we're gathered together to all I can say is, is pray for the many lives that we have lost. Lives that were precious. Uh, and I don't think any words will heal the pain that many of the families are feeling. Um, so as we are gathered today, I, uh, I, I thought of what to say. And I listened to some of the stories and over the last two days, I wondered, you know, what can I say to a father who had lost his daughter and had to tell the school that his daughter will never return to class? How do I console a mother who had invested everything in her son? How do I console a family who has lost loved ones? The investment, the, the love, and for many of us immigrants, when we leave home to come here, we invest everything. And there are no words that can describe the pain that we're feeling. We have also heard about the contribution that many of these individuals have given, and also the future that many of these individuals have, the bright futures. All I can say is may God rest and may God help our families and this community find peace and give us the strength to stand together. I know in times like this, it also gives us a lot of anger. There is anguish that comes with the pain. And it's sometimes easy to use that anger to maybe shield that pain that we have. So I pray that we come together as a community. And I, 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 I know that if we were to make our flesh inside out, we'd all look the same. And many of us who have now ingrained fear inside because a lot of our families are scattered across the world. And this earth is aching. We're bleeding from many corners of it. And I also think we need to know the truth. But at this time, we also find peace and we need to love each other. And we need to hold each other because we, this community, as Canadians, whether it's Iranian communities and all the other communities, we need to hold each other because we are what we have. And we are stronger together. So on behalf of the Ontario NDP, we mourn with you.
we are with you. And we are hope that our leader remains it today because she's also with another uh, some community members who have been uh, affected by this tragedy. Uh, but she sends her condolences. And every one of us from the caucus are with you and we will be there for you for anything that we can do. And we want to thank you for coming out tonight and for spreading love. Because the only way we can share love and maybe decrease a little bit of the pain is by spreading that. Thank <laughs> you.